Something a little different. <laughs> Way back in the early 1970s, I think it was about 1976, uh, the toy company Ideal released a game called Tin Can Alley, which was a kid's shooting game. And the basis of it was you had a either a pistol or a rifle, which was a light gun. It just, it just shot a flash of light. And then you had a base which looked like a wall or a part of a fence and you stood these cans up on top of it which came with the game and you tried to hit the target areas and the cans would fly off if you hit the target areas. Now these games were made all the way through until I think around about the mid 1990s by various different Chinese companies. The original ideal ones are horrifically expensive these days. If you can find one on eBay, you'd be looking at 250, 300 quid. The later ones are not quite so expensive, but they're still, they're still quite a lot of money. However, I managed to find just the base part, which is the main guts of the game anyway, on eBay for a relatively low amount of money. So that was great. So there were no cans with it and there's no gun with it, but the base part of it actually works. Let's see if we can get it to work. Now, I don't have a light gun, but I do have a pen light. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is great fun. <laughs> Works really well with the Red Bull cans. <laughs> oh, superb. Really nice for shooting indoors when it's too cold to be outside. Yay! Any real limitation with it is you have to shoot the from left to right because that's the way the mechanism works. But it is superb. And we'll just have one more go in case you missed it the first time. Oh, I just love this thing. Absolutely brilliant. Now I don't currently have a gun for it, but I'm going to make one. Um, I've done some experiments and you, you get about, probably get about, I don't know, 10 feet or so with an ordinary light, uh, pen light. But if you use a low power laser pointer, you can go back, well, as long as, as far as I can get back in this place, which is about eight and a half meters, I can, I can, I can hit, it will work fine with a low power laser. And of course that's much accurate. So I'm going to try and build a light gun with a low power laser using a, one of those little laser pointers, hopefully. And, um, and we'll take it from there. But yeah, if you want to find out more about these and how they work, um, Randy Rain did a restore on one and, uh, I'll put a link to her video in the description. Some progress has been made with the light gun. Actually, I think from now on we'll call it the laser rifle. Uh, for no real reason other than the fact it sounds way cooler than light gun and that's technically what it is going to be. So yeah, so I've, done, I've, I've made some progress. First off, I've roughed out the wood stock, um, bit of a soft pine plank that I had lying around. Um, I say it's only roughed out at the moment, needs a lot more sanding and routing and stuff, but yeah, you get the, the basic idea. I've got a bit of steel tube coming from eBay for the barrel, so that's all good. And I've sorted out the electronic side of it, so we'll close in on that and, you, and I'll explain what's going on. Okay, so this is a cheap laser pointer that I got off of eBay, I think it was about three pounds. It was a lot longer than that because it, it, it has a tube on the back. This is the laser end. This has a tube on the back for two AAA batteries, which I've sh cut off quite short. And I've made up a brass uh, plug to go in this end with a hole in it so that I can take wires in. So these two wires coming out of the laser, basically you put three volts on these wires, the laser will fire. Uh, there was a push button on the outside of it, which is I've now simply permanently put to on by the judicious use of a bit of heat shrink tubing. So that's that. Now, the electronics, very, very, very simple. All, all we're using here is a couple of transistors and a 555 timer. Uh, if anyone's interested, I'll, I'll put the circuit diagram up on the screen in a minute and you can have a look at it. But basically all this does is it's a level shift to a pulse converter. So basically this push button here will be the trigger in the actual laser rifle. And I want the output to 
be a pulse from the laser. So I just want the laser to come on, maybe for a couple of seconds and turn off. And I want it to do that no matter how long I pull the trigger or how quickly I pull the trigger. So basically all that this does is, it doesn't matter what, how long you hold this down or how briefly you press it, you will get a fixed pulse length coming out of the 555, which turns the laser on through this transistor. The laser actually only draws about 30 milliamps. So the, the 555 will probably do that all on its own, but just to be on the safe side, I've put a transistor switch in the output though. The transistor will easily um, uh, sink enough current for this, for this laser. So yeah, I can change the length of the pulse by this CR network here. And I've got it set to, it's just over, I think it's about a second and a half now at the moment. So that's, that's the basic circuit. Then here we have a little tiny battery pack. This holds two AAA batteries, more than enough to power the whole, the whole lot. So basically the whole circuit is running off three volts. And I'll demonstrate it, yeah, how it works, so you can see exactly what's going on. I've turned the lights away a bit just to make it a little bit darker, but we'll put the power on. And then if I press this here, you should see a little red dot appear on the aluminum slug. There we go. So even though I do a brief press, it will it turns on and then it will turn off. And if I hold the button down, exactly the same thing happens. That's it basically. And all that's gonna be shrunk down and obviously incorporated into the rifle somehow. So that's where we are at the moment. I'm still waiting for some parts to come. I still haven't got the barrel yet. What I used for the experimentation, and obviously I didn't have that um, little uh, laser pointer, was this old thing here, which I kept from, year, from years ago when I was working at IT recycling place. Um, we had a load of projectors come in. Um, most of them were scrapped, they were badly damaged. This NEC one came with this remote and I kept it because this remote has a laser bit pointer built into it, which is really, really useful. So I'll just demonstrate that. There you go. Let's see the little dot. So this is what I used to test the Tin Can Alley gain to see whether it would work okay with the laser and it works fine. Like I said, I can put this thing as far away as I can possibly get in here and it and it and it works absolutely fine. Yeah, so what's left to do? Well obviously I've got to finish off the stock. I've got various bits of it have got to be routed out to take the battery pack and, and the little circuit, which I shall probably put this on Veraboard. And obviously I've got to route out the top to take the barrel. Yeah, there's quite a lot to do in the trigger. I haven't got a trigger for it yet, so I'm probably gonna have to make one, which is gonna be fun because I've never made a gun trigger before. So <laughs> that'll be interesting, but it's coming along.